am joined by Sharon. Um, she is Hi. an artist. She works in the city, but is currently obviously working from home. Um, and she is a big fan of Jesus. Um, and I feel like three of those things are really important for you to know. Um, and I have met up with Sharon actually a bunch of times over the last year to be able to pray. And I've always been encouraged by her love of prayer um, and through her journey with prayer. So I thought it'd be really cool for us to talk to her for a little bit. Um, Sharon, this morning I was reading something and it said that um, she was talking about prayer and she's like, oh, I feel like my relationship status with prayer is it's complicated. <laughs> Um, and that, that really resonated with me. Um, what has your relationship been with prayer? Maybe long-term as being a Christian, but maybe even specifically this year in 2020. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I can remember the first time I was introduced to prayer was when I lost mm -hmm. my teddy bear, um, as a three-year-old and my mom said, pray to God cause he cares. And he listens mm. and he responds. Um, so, you know, she did what every good parent did. She found my teddy bear and put it on the kitchen table the next day. But for me, that was just really encouraging. And I think that has laid the foundation to my relationship with prayer, which is, you know, praying mm. to God because he cares, um, he listens and he responds. Mm. Um, so that's kind of always been the case. Um, prayer has always been a way of communicating with God. Um, mm -hmm. and I think in this moment, um, that's become very, very key uh, mm. when, you know, there's communication channels that have changed so much with how I relate to other people. Um, the one thing that hasn't changed is how I communicate to God, um, and mm. to have somebody who is all sovereign, somebody who loves me deeply, um, and cares not just for me, but for the people around me, um, that's become a communication yeah. channel that I desperately need yeah yeah I think yeah that's a very helpful thing to remember in this time of with all of the change that we're constantly adapting to pivoting towards as it were um how we relate with God hasn't had to and I think that that's a really helpful thing for us to hold on to this year um and I think yeah that that opportunity to be honest with the sovereign God um is really really key um, something that you mentioned a little bit before we started recording, um, which I thought was incredibly helpful advice that I want to take on, um, is like when you wake up in the morning, recognizing your capacity for the day um, and the percentage that you're at, because I think everyone isn't firing on all cylinders ready to go. Um, how has that shaped your prayer life? Mm, yeah. I think, well, massively. Mm. So the day, the way I start the day is recognizing to myself, you know, what capacity you're at today, Sharon, but actually mm. then turning that into a prayer and actually asking God to help me be faithful in that capacity. Mm. Um, so whether it's asking him to just sustain me at that level or um, help me to trust him if it dips um, mm. or help me to praise him if it's, you know, higher than, than how you know, I started the day, um, yeah. starting the day, depending on God. Um, mm. And I find it useful at the end of the day when I'm praying to just reflect back on how I started um, and, you know, to, to wrap up that conversation um, and go to bed is something that gives me a lot of peace in this time. Yeah. Mm, that's beautiful. I love the book ending of that, um, like mm. the beginning of day. And then also like looking back in praise. Um, I hadn't thought of that part. <laughs> I, I understood the beginning part, but I hadn't thought about the end of the day. So I think that that's really um, helpful and really wise um, advice and just like rules of life that you have in, in mm -hmm. store for yourself. Um, you are a creative and I would assume that that um, impacts the way that you relate with God. Mm. Um, how, yeah, how has it impacted the way that you relate with God? Do you pray like while you're creating um yeah how how is prayer and your creativity linked um for you yeah so in my mind there's um there's prayer time that I where I you know deliberately sit down and 
and I close my eyes and you know the, those are like the longer prayer sessions mm. and then there are times in the day where I just utter you know one line prayers um, or just send a thought to God mm. um, and a lot of my creative practices I suppose in the day whether it's like a quick sketch or something um, sometimes you know I'll say a quick one line of prayer and time at home um, and there'll be times where I'm I want to respond creatively to a passage I've read or to something that somebody has shared with me or a prayer mm -hmm. um, and those are the times where before I even pick up you know a tool um, I will pray to God and ask mm -hmm. him to um, use this time um, to reflect on his truth and to almost ask him to show me what I'm feeling as I'm responding to something. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not somebody that's very good at talking about their feelings. Um, so I think the creativity is sometimes forms part of my prayer to God um, mm -hmm. to kind of look down on the page and go, okay, well, <laughs> this is what's happening. Um, how can I now articulate this into words um, and, and speak to God that way? Mm. Very cool. Very cool. I, as a creative, I feel, yeah, very similarly in, it's like an element of the conversation. Um, there's like the sit down, the mm. focus prayers, but then there's the times where it's like, no, like this is more just a conversation with God and I can feel my soul connecting with him. And I think that's yeah. the beauty of prayer. Um, yeah. You know, it can be down on your knees. It can be out in the park or it can be at home at your desk. Um, creating something and I think that that's um, a really beautiful gift that God has given us um, and I think it's a really beautiful gift that God has given you specifically as someone who is really creative um, and really generous with their creativity and so yeah I love that I have loved chatting with you I feel like we could go on for a long time um, <laughs> we, we have sat before for a long time talking about prayer but um, we won't today. I don't think either our internet will hold up um, <laughs> either. <right. laughs> We're both having some problems today. Um, but Sharon, deeply thankful for you. Um, thanks for sharing your thoughts on prayer, um, your experience with prayer. And yeah, even just going back to that first time um, of being coming to God and him using your mum to answer that prayer. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, like, and that's, that's the thing he does. <laughs> He, he answers our prayer and he'll use people to do it. And I think that that's really cool um, and a really great example. So thanks so much for sharing. No worries. <laughs> Bye. Bye.